So, the new Batman film comes out on March 4th, and someone thinks that it's gonna be a masterpiece. It will. Look at the title of the video, Afro. The Batman will be a masterpiece. We've already, we don't even need to discuss it. This film is gonna be absolutely awesome. You know, you know that's some, that's some, that's a really strong take. A masterpiece. It is a strong take. We've only seen two trailers, and you're already saying it's a masterpiece. Like, yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm like, when I, when I've watched those two trailers, and I've got the vibe of the film. It really reminds me of Logan and Jota already, mm -hmm. you know, and yep. I think this is, we, let's be honest, those two films are already probably, what, the best two superhero comic book films in the last decade? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, especially the darkest ones anyway as well. Yeah, well, I think the Batman's going to join that that duo, that comedy duo of, of good films. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I am excited for it. I do think that this will probably be, I mean, yeah, it will be the darkest Batman film, and I think that's what the fans really want because yeah especially this is dc's advantage from marvel is that you know they're not they're not afraid to go dark you know disney they they, they claim to be dark with their marvel films but that's it they're not yeah, really they're, dark, not. <laughs> they're not they're not they're, dark. they're not they're not dark. yeah they're not let's be honest <laughs> like like you said i would describe marvel films as like disney mcdonald's yeah. you know what you're gonna get they're not gonna be that edgy they might say all <laughs> we no, don't really edgy this one and it's not like <laughs> their idea of edgy is like throwing spider-man out of the window with the green goblin fight that's that's their idea of edginess you know that, <laughs> that little fight scene that they had well this is why i'm really hyped for this and like you said this is why dc i think this is what they should be focusing on not yeah. wasting their time on the universe they should be giving us films of their major characters and mm. giving them these sort of anthology films no the cast for this film is amazing oh yeah. can't wait to see this cast all in action so i know the beginning stages of his career career was kind of a meme but robert patterson has been in really good films you know we got ten has tenant was a great yeah. film and obviously the lighthouse with william defoe as well i mean that was yeah that very was, edgy that was a very, very edgy and dramatic yeah very edgy film so i i'm excited for him as the batman and he's a very young batman which i mean we we kind of saw it with Christian Bale, but I think this is a, a very good, unique taste to it. So This is a very new Batman I saw with Matt Reeves. He was basically saying that this is only year two. Batman's yeah. in, only in his second year as Batman mm. here. So he was like, it's not going to be an origin story. Yeah. You're not going to see Batman's parents get shot. You might do in the <laughs> flashback. They all, they're yeah, always in the yeah. flashback. You'll see some bats when he's falling down or something like that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but the film itself is meant to be focusing on the origins of Batman really discovering just how correct corrupts Gotham is. Yeah. He's got an uneasy relationship with the GD... Is it G... The GDPD? No, the GPDD. I don't know. Something <laughs> G. That acronym. That acronym. So he's got an uneasy relationship there. You've obviously got Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon. I yeah. already love the tone he's playing yeah. in this. Yeah. I just think like this is Matt Reeves has described this film as it's meant it's meant to be more of a mystery film. Mm. Yeah. And how many times have you heard Batman's the world's greatest detective? I mean, yeah, all the time. I mean, that's basically his um his alias. That's his isn't MO, it? isn't yeah. it? Yeah, he is the great world's greatest detective. But I'm I'm thinking about Batman films. The only sort of detective stuff he's done is where when Christian Bale had those blocks of wood and he was just <laughs> shooting into them that is the most detective stuff we've seen from batman in film i swear but matt reeves has said that this film is going to focus a lot more into it it's going to be a mystery it's going to be neor style neor style neor yeah neor style it, and it obviously it's going to be focusing on the riddler being that sort of serial killer and i think that dynamic it's going to be really cool to see how just how they adapt that sort of style of cinema and genre to batman oh yeah yeah 100 i mean the riddler is the best villain to go for if you're thinking about a proper detective story for batman I and mean, batman's had so many good comics based on the riddler and solving it out and stuff yeah. like that. i mean you can even think of the arkham games and f figuring out those, ri oh, those don't. riddle mi don't. <laughs> those riddle uh, mini games and stuff like that you know it's gonna be it's gonna be yeah imagine that was the film he's just going around <laughs> doing riddle challenges for arkham games <laughs> i locked the, I locked the full batman story built on yeah 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 it's the original ending he has to complete all the freaking oh god those <laughs> <laughs> but 
and it's moving away because obviously for a lot of people they only really know Riddler as the Jim Carrey version yeah, yeah. the, the yeah. spandex the spandex question mark jumping around making <laughs> puns with Two-Face yeah yeah. yeah. this I don't think people are going to realise just how ruthless this character is going to be he's mm. really leading into the serial killer vibe yeah. he had to play it in Paul Dano he literally said after he finished playing Riddler he struggled to sleep for the next few days or so he, str- his, he was struggling with sleep oh really because because of the mindset he had to get into to play this sort of character yeah oh, it's gonna be it's, it should be good like I, I like the darker tones it ha- they haven't they haven't have they announced the sequel are they gonna do a sequel not yet not yet not I reckon yet. so I mean they, they probably I reckon will, so they? yeah they probably if will. they make the money they will they will yeah but I, I, the only other thing that's making me think that this film is going to be a masterpiece mm. is the fact that it's it looks like it's more trying to actually be a film rather than be a comic book film. It's hard, like I think with Marvel films they have that formula. I don't I, I don't see a lot of great Marvel films that are like this is you know this is a top top film for anyone that isn't even a comic book fan. Yeah, oh. you can't really. I can't really think of a lot of cages where you can show someone a Marvel film. So he has got no interest in comic books or just doesn't know anything about comic books. I don't think there's a lot of Marvel films you can take and say, just watch this film. This is a really good film. Yeah, but I feel like the Batman is gonna really mur- blur all that and say this is just a good film that happens to include someone from comics. No, yeah, you're right. I think the problem with the Marvel films is that um, you kind of have to build that relationship from previous films, but because mm. this is kind of treated as his own solo thing away from the uh, expanded universe of DC you, you, yeah. they all have to have good roles I mean which makes sense yeah. that they've chose really good actors for this for this film oh you know yeah the car, I really I really can't wait to see how Colin Farrell plays the Penguin yeah 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 or Farrell I don't know but um, I'm really excited to see how he plays you've got obviously Andy Serkis as well as Alfred mm-hmm you got Zoe as um, Catwoman, who I think is going to be... A, she looks really good She's a it. beautiful woman. It's very good. She's, <laughs> she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> uh, that's the reason why she's going to be good. She's just very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, uh, I I genuinely think that we've obviously seen Logan get nominated for Best uh, Adapted Screenplay. Yep. It, I think it was one of the first live-action superhero films to be nominated for a screenwriter award there. Obviously, Joker mopped up at 11 nominations. I do think that this will follow suit. This will follow suit. It'll be a better... F- if people are raving about Spider-Man, this is going to blow Spider-Man out of the park. And it's going to be remembered longer than the Spider-Man film. That's, that's a big claim. That's a very big claim. Don't care. Don't care. I saw, I saw Spider-Man fans getting annoyed that Spider-Man was... They were trying to see... it. They, they, they thought Spider-Man, No Way Home, should have been nominated for Best Picture. I mean, no, that's a bit too far. That's, that's a bit too far. For- Ridiculous. Just take your site, just take your SFX nomination and be happy with that. And let's be honest, it wasn't even a great, I don't think the best was great anyway. Anyway, no side chat to that freaking film. <laughs> I think that the Batman, I reckon it will be considered a much better film. This is our prediction. If I'm wrong, come back to this video and ridicule me in the comments. But <laughs> I I think people are going to come back to this video after and say, senseless, you goddamn genius. I mean, I, 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 hope you're, I hope you're right, mate. This is a lot, a masterpiece. Just remember. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. Yeah. I'll put, I'll put my name on it so I don't run away from it. I am senseless <laughs> and the Batman will be a masterpiece. It's not a game. It's a rage game.